Hi everybody, I'm Jim. And I'm Rich. And we're playing Resident Rise. Yes, because Pokemon Go is still not here. It's true. In, we, in Canada, Pokemon Go has not come out yet, and that is a source of sadness for some people. Like me. Like you. Sorry, I, I thought I was making that clear, that you are the person who... I'm very sad. ...is experiencing that sadness. I'm loading some more stuff into the storage system that we built last time. Got panels up here now. They're all connected and hooked up. And today I'm going to focus mostly on improving the storage system a bit more by adding barrels and improving my tools. And I am making more flowers so I can get my mana production up and running. I'm close to being done. I need, what, eight, nine, ten flowers made. Oh, maybe some more mana pools. Alright, so I'm gonna need some Ardite, some Cobalt. Three mana pools from this. And some obsidian. First thing I'm going to make is a sword. Yay, swords. Yay, indeed, swords. Alright, we're going to make a... That's what I was looking for. Just yeah, we're going to make a rapier, because it ignores armor. means we are going to need another couple of patterns. Uh, other than that, I need to get a bit of iron. Oh? Yeah, I need mana steel. Ah, what is mana steel for? Uh, Batania oh, stuff. Aluminum brass. stack should do. Okay, we have 3,000 cobblestone in our um, AE system. It's not enough. It's more than enough. No, no, it's really not. I have plans for cobblestone. That's cool. I'm going to dump all but 64 stacks of it. Ideally, by the end of this episode. You monster. Yeah, well... Them sprigs. I want to uh, compress all that. Couldn't hear you. I was too busy being in, being put in charge of our storage system. <laughs> yeah, I'm a monster. You're, you're why I, I never have nice things anymore, Jim. No, that's super not why you never have nice things. Yes, it is. All right. Uh, uh, flora. Incarnations. We've already got some manulin, manulin, manulin. That's what we're going with. Uh, which is the strongest material that Tinker's Construct has to offer? And let's take a look at the material cost on these parts. Five for the crossbar. Tool rod is also 0.5. And then we are going to need a sword blade. Because the durability is going to be low, but we're going to fix that. We have the technology. Redstone roots. Here we go. So we don't need this anymore. So we're going to need to get rid of it. I really need to build a garbage can, actually. For all the little random silly things that I don't need anymore. So 
So we also don't have a sword blade cast. We don't have a... Well, you were in charge of the cast. I'm aware. I just didn't realize that I didn't have one. And there we go. Eight agricarnations. What are agricarnations? They use mana to make plants grow faster. I'm seeing a lot of make thing grow to make thing grow faster without seeing a lot of stuff coming out the other end. Oh, just give you time. Uh, we've been at this for quite a while. Now, I need... Power station still looks a bit like garbage, but... An exoflame. That's okay. Rune of fire. Rune of summer. Rune of fire. Two. Mystical red. Mystical gray. Mystical light gray. While we're doing this, what we're going to do is... Knock out some of these... Walls. I've already run the cable, and I made some barrels. So the plan is... God damn it. What? Oh, I'm out of runes of summer. Earth and air. What we're actually going to do, before we just put storage buses on these barrels, is one, figure out what we want to go in them. Um, this will just be a start. And two, we're going to upgrade them with the void thing. So they're actually going to pull everything out for us so that we don't have to deal with it. Because so we're going to use import buses. And while I'm up here, Grab another chest to empty out. Hup, 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 hup. That'd be me plummeting to my death. I have yet to see this death message. Well, plummeting to my injury. So now we got the manual in. Is that to cast a sword blade? And we're gonna use it to cast the tool rod. There we go. We got that room being made. We're gonna use the cobalt. Rip. Are you making it purely out of manual? No, I made the, a bit of it out of cobalt. To give it a bit more strength. And now, sword blade. Tool rod. Does anyone know where my grip went? No. Is it still in the casting tray? It is. There it is. Bravo, sir. Listen, all right? It's all on the ground. This is very sad. Um, let's, let's focus here, Tool Forge. Amulet and Rapier. Reinforce two, plus four attack damage. Attacks for two hearts. But it ignores armor. That sounds handy. Uh, right, the seeds I already have them. 
So now what I'm going to do is go to my terminal, grab a hardened flux capacitor. So now instead of durability, he uses RF. Okay, I now have the exoflame made. One thing left to Let's kill an exoflame. Um, essentially what it does, it pulls mana from a uh, nearby mana pool. And when anything goes into the uh, furnace, it will fuel the furnace. Ah, oh, neat. Now I just need one more flower. A hopper hawk. Oh, nice. The hopper hawk is awesome. To mystical light gray, to mystical gray. We're gonna put in some I things to make uh, a bit. We're gonna make a pick and a matic. And for that, we're gonna want Ardite, because Ardite's all about speed. Make sure we've got all the right casts here. I need one more iodite, I believe. Do you have any thomium kicking around? I would assume not. I haven't been in a position to make any lately. Mm, cool. And the hopper hawk is now made. Uh, hopper hawks do not actually need mana. They will pick up items in their range on the ground and put them in an adjacent chest. This is important. Hmm, that does seem important. And everything should be ready to go. Let's put the seeds away. First we turn this... Oh, no, not quite everything ready to go. I forgot one last part. What did you forget? I... Well, I can turn this on to get started. But I need this for soul sand to go into... That hovering hourglass. Get up there. Now, that hover, uh, hovering hourglass will, every four minutes, flip over, sending a redstone signal to the pulse mana spreader. The pulse mana spreader takes mana from this adjacent mana pool, sends it out, and then it sends out a pulse to hit the drum of the wild, which will then harvest all of the planted uh, potatoes that will be here. This seems very complicated. Oh, it's really awesome. Right now, the chest is being... Or the right. hopper is now filling up the uh, chest cart. And because there is potato still in the hopper, the chest cart will not leave. Because okay. of redstone signal setup to turn off the uh, track it's on. Once it's I heard a monster. Who's a monster? Uh, no, I heard one. Oh. So I'm just hunting around for it. As much as I love the bit where I, like, something blows up in the storage system and then I scream. <laughs> uh, we already did that one a couple of times. Okay, and there it goes. Yeah, we're going to clean this up. Only Jim's been traveling, so I haven't actually touched the storage system in a couple of weeks. It will. Uh, real time. Now travel... Keep going back and forth, dropping potatoes into the dispensers. The dispensers will get redstone signals at certain points, thereby throwing potatoes out. It will plant them if there's fertile land to plant. If there isn't, the hopper hawk pits them up, throws them back into the chest, which then feeds back down into our nice, friendly little cart. So the cobblestone, gravel, the agri carnations down there should make it so that the potatoes hit full maturity within four minutes for that uh, lovely little hourglass, though it might be a little off time for this first one. And in this way, we just keep getting more and more potatoes. But as we can see over here, we're getting potatoes dumped into the furnace. They're baking. 
being fed through the hopper into the open crate, which immediately drops him down on the ground until unless I'm standing here to pick him up. The Gormorillus will then pick them up, essentially eat them, turn them into mana, that feeds into this mana spreader, up into this mana pool, creating this nice big chain and the potatoes should stay ahead of what's getting eaten. Hmm. Now, in an effort to put more use to these, uh, various sources of mana, I'm going to take a mana spreader, and as you can see, I don't have my wand out, but there's almost a steady stream of mana being pumped into this mana pool up here, and it's filling decently fast. So I'm going to stick a mana spreader on it, and find that over to this mana distributor. That mana I'm distributor all... will then the distribute mana to all the adjacent mana pools. Though, admittedly, this one won't show any filling until this mana spreader here is full. And I'll give full credit to this. This was from Riskable and his Riskable builds on YouTube. Uh, he's give, I, I, seriously, full credit to him for this design. It is an amazing, uh, amazing mana farm. Nice. Now people wonder, also, what kind of other things can I do with all this mana? I mean, of course, we know all the various flowers and stuff that can be used, various other things, including armor. But you can make armor? Oh, right, you can make mana steel armor. Yeah. And then upgrade to terra steel eventually. But now... I need more mana spreaders. Which means I'm probably going to need to make some more living wood. I need cable? to make some annihilation cores for my import buses. Ah. Yeah, I didn't think I had What's up, spider? Yeah. What was that? Test my new sword out on you. Okay. I'll do that. Really? All he was doing was chilling out, man. And dead. Man, he's just looking for a place to raise his family, and you won't do that. Yep. You're terrible. Don't make creepy monster noises outside my house. I don't like it. Should he make them inside your house, then? No, he's welcome to try. Oh yeah, something else I did between recordings. Um, I've got all my seeds planted now, which I still need to make a lot more for Pam's Harvest Craft. Oh? Yeah, um, Pam's has lots of seeds for various things to, so that you can make a whole tons of, of things. Who knows, might even be able to make cheeseburgers. That seems strange. You saying you wouldn't want to make cheeseburgers? Um, well, I mean, I'm a vegetarian, so there's that. You poor soul. Not really. Uh, I want a bacon cheeseburger now. I want a pony. Not because I want to eat it, just because I like ponies. Do you want a pony made out of diamonds? Um, couldn't hurt. Ah, pure daisy, no, go back. Alright. I need to put more lava in the smeltery. 
Yes, yes you do. If only there were ways to automate that. Yep. There are, by the way, but we need a lot more lava. Yeah, I just don't have enough lava for it. Alright. So now we should have the gear to make some import buses. Cores. Oh, so I'm using the crafting terminal. What are you using your port buses for? Uh, I am going to use them to suck everything out of the uh, storage system into the barrels. So we're only going to need a couple because we're going to do a couple at a time. Wait, why would you need import buses to put into barrels? Export from the system. We can export to the barrels, or we can import from the barrels. It's the same. It's it's the same process. But if you use a storage bus, and which is what we're going to use once we have everything out of the storage system. Okay. Grab those. But and import buses are more useful. Mostly because I don't have any. I have a couple of export buses kicking around. Okay. But that's what's hooking up the ender chests. Alright, so let's just make a couple of import buses here. We're going to need some sticky pistons. Make some acceleration cards. So we might have some downstairs already. Because we've got a lot of stuff in that storage system, and we're going to need to pick up the base on it. So let's check the chest first. Basic, we have a basic card, a bunch of blank patterns. Let's see if we've got some acceleration cards in here. Acceleration cards. So let's do cobblestone and wood first. And let's do that in a way that uh, uses my wrench rather than my pickaxe. Plan. Looks like we're actually going to need smart cable. So let's grab some smart cable. Well, I'd hope we're not using dumb cable. Well, I mean, probably wouldn't. Oh, by the way, is that cable still uh, running into the power system in the castle? Mm, well, let's go with a strong maybe. Okay. Because every extra attachment you add to that system is going to draw more power. 
Mm-hmm. I'm an imbecile. Did you know that? Hmm? I have a brain problem. It's okay, so do I. For some reason, I can't grasp the use of wrenches. Okay, that's a bit more... That's probably worse than my brain problem. I just have a very bad memory. Also, you were right. We do. We totally want to export buses. I told you. Alright, so let's put some stuff back in the storage system here. Put the storage buses in there. Next time, insist. Well, I explained the situation, but you seem to know better, so I'll trust you. Also, don't be a dick about it. What, ab ab about trusting you? No, about being a dick, what you're doing right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's make some ex At least we got the cards. Let's make some export buses. Now, there are people watching who are probably wondering, Rich, why did you just run a, a, a linking mana system to that pool way over there? Because honestly, Jim's terrible at keeping up with the power system. He hasn't even built a power station yet. It's true. So, with all this excess mana I'm currently developing here, I am going to build a dynamo to convert mana into power. Seems like the opposite of what I wanted. Now to do this, we need a dynamo. Specifically, we are making a hippie dynamo. A hippie dynamo? A, really? A hippie dynamo. Okay. It's flower powered. I can tell. I need a silver ingot. If we got silver. Yep, it's in the storage system. Okay. Alright, so now what we're going to do is throw a couple of acceleration cards in here. And once these are done, once they're full, we're going to. We're, we're going to be in a position to vacuum everything out of the storage system. But in order to do that, what's up? I'm just coming to take a look at how badly you might have screwed it up. Thanks, man. Really appreciate the vote of confidence. You're welcome. Have you managed to uh, put void upgrades on the chest on the thing? That's yet? our next step. We're going to do it next episode. Oh no.